Welcome to the New School of Marketing podcast, the place for smart, simple strategies that will amplify your business results. Sharing practical tips, insider knowledge and actionable advice because marketing is something that every business owner can do. Now, let's get started. Introducing your host, Bianca McKenzie, mum, lover of snow sports, camping, horse riding and in-demand launch strategist and Facebook advertising knowledge bank. Hey there, welcome back to the New School of Marketing podcast. I am so grateful to you for tuning in. Before we dive in, I would love to pay respect and acknowledgement to the Palawa people of Lutruwita, who are the traditional owners of the land on which my business operates, and I pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Alrighty, so cool that you're here. We have literally just gone back to school. Um today is my daughter's first day back at school because yeah she goes three days to kinder and yeah it's so good (laughs) mind you um somehow these school holidays just felt like a bit of a blip um they went by so fast and we didn't really go anywhere and we certainly didn't have any plans but when you don't have plans is when things happen right and boy did something happen actually a few things um first thing that happened was that I was um met with a bit of a health scare I woke up one morning extremely dizzy when I tried to get up and I ended up in the emergency room and being diagnosed with BPPV benign para something or other vertigo anyway (laughs) I should have looked it up before I recorded this. Um, but, yeah, like it's like a, a vertigo that can kind of just randomly come and randomly go. But it was a bit scary. So, yeah, I had a few dizzy spells. Um, they gave me some medication, which really only helped with, like, anti-nausea. Um, and I wasn't nauseous. So, um, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling much better now, which is really good. Um, but... Some other news, and I'll keep it short because I don't want to fill an entire episode about this, but here's my news. I bought a horse. I've always wanted one. I've always wanted a horse, and I used to have a pony when I was younger, um, but I never had a horse. (laughs) Um, So the plan was always that once we had land, I would get a horse at some point. And we have land, but when we first moved here, um, I was pregnant, and being pregnant and with little kids it's really not good timing to get a horse so we didn't (laughs) and to be honest it's still not ideal timing because the kids are still so little but this horse and I clicked in such a way that I just I couldn't not do it I just had to (laughs) um my husband wasn't over the moon about it but um Yeah, I just had such a bond and a relationship with him as soon as I met him. It's kind of strange. But anyway, so I bought a horse. I'll leave it at that. You can follow along on Instagram where I'll share more about him and I'm sure that, like, you'll be sick of it by the end of it. (laughs) Um, Now, on to today's topic. I really want to talk about growing your email list and attracting more leads for your business, especially if you are a course creator or a service provider. So if you rely on leads and sometimes like a large volume of leads, if you want to sell courses or memberships, then this is the podcast episode for you. And it's not the first time I've spoken about this, but it's so important for your business that I will just keep bringing it up. I often talk about using Facebook ads to grow your list and attract leads, but there are plenty of other ideas and options to attract more leads for your business. So let's dive into a few so you can also grow your business. Now, first things first, I want to say this. It is about lead quality and not lead quantity. It's not like like the more you can get, the better. It has to be the right lead. It has to be the right people. You want people who are actually interested in you know, opening your emails when you send emails and actually interested in your business and your products. So even though I use Facebook ads to speed things up, it is better to grow your list slowly with the right audience rather than just 
you know, trying to get anyone and any everyone and anyone on there um, because you don't want to have a whole lot of people that are not interested in what you sell. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's look at eight ways that you can attract more leads to your business. Number one, you can sell something low cost. So attracting leads to your business doesn't always have to be a free thing or a cold calling or door knocking kind of exercise. You can actually offer a low cost product, like a low cost course or download or something like that to introduce people to who you are, what you do. So selling for something, selling something for like, I don't know, $9, like under $10 can be a great way to reach more potential customers Uh, And it's really good for service-based and course creators, service-based businesses and course creators. And it's often a really great intro to your work, especially if you give them excellent value and help them with something that gives them an immediate outcome. Sometimes people need to just tip their their toes in the water, like have a little nibble um, before they, yeah, have a little nibble before they, completely dive into like a big course or something like that so something low cost um number two you can host a giveaway or a competition and offering something to new subscribers as part of a like a competition a giveaway or some other type of promotion is usually a really good idea but I do want to add this as well when you see those competitions where people go win an iPad um, and that kind of thing that might not be the right fit for your business. Great for like super large businesses, but if you start doing something like that, you probably just get a whole lot of people that just want the iPad, they're not interested in your business, and you don't actually get the right leads. So make sure that what you are giving away is something that is related to your business. For example, um, you may have created like a small course, like, you know, that $9 product. You can host something like that and give that away. Or you can offer, you know, um, one person wins, I don't know, like a one-hour consultation with you or something like that. So make it relevant to what your business is. Number three, you can create a subscriber-only podcast. Um, this podcast that you're listening to right now is open to everyone. It's like public, but I could, for example, also have a separate podcast with specific tips on how to do certain things like certain marketing things. And I could give my email subscribers the option to sign up to this private podcast without making it public. So getting like kind of like private advice, (laughs) it's not completely private, but yeah, like in a way, private advice that is not for everyone, um, I can use that to encourage people to join my mailing list and become a lead as such. Another thing is uh, that you can do, number four, is use QR codes on, for example, flyers or business cards or even banners. So QR, QR codes, I know they kind of became a really big thing during COVID. We had to check in everywhere and things like that, but they are still a thing. And there are plenty of options to get creative when using them to get new leads. And you can actually create QR codes in Canva, like super easy. So for example, if you go to a networking event or a conference or something like that, you can have a QR code on a business card that takes people to a page, like a landing page, where they can immediately sign up to your list and get like a free download or something like that. So create a QR code for your landing page, like it goes to your landing page, and then add it to your printed products like your business cards, your flyers. And it's a really easy way to get people to subscribe. Number five, make your mailing list completely VIP like they are the first people um, and sometimes the only people that find out about certain things so give them exclusive access to for example new things before you tell anyone else Um, you can also give them exclusive access to things that you will never publicly share Um, and I do this quite often (laughs) 
So if you're not on my mailing list, sometimes you will not find out about things um, because sometimes I actually just only share it with my mailing list. So if you have things that you don't share anywhere else, make sure that you tell people that um, so that they can join your list and find out about things. Sometimes I have like a spot coming up for some private mentoring or things like that, or even um, certain promotions. I only share with my list. I don't share everything publicly. So yeah, make it completely VIP. Number six, you can add pop-ups to your website. I have a pop-up on my website. Um, When people first visit your site, you can use this pop-up to encourage them to subscribe and um, become, you know, again, (laughs) one of those people that is in your community. So yeah, basically encourage them to subscribe, um, to stay in touch with you. And the way I do it is I have a pop-up that appears after a few seconds when people visit my website. There's lots of different ways to add pop-ups. There's pop-ups when people just visit. There's pop-ups when people are going to leave. Um, There's everything in between. (laughs) So yeah, create a pop-up. So when people go to a website, they are usually just uh, in like in browsing mode, in like kind of interest mode, they are generally not in buying mode. But just because they're not ready to purchase straight away, especially if you offer a service um, or potentially an online course that has a higher price point, um, they might not be ready to purchase right away. They probably won't be, but they might be ready to subscribe and hear more from you as a business person. So get them on your list so you can email them. Number seven, collaborate. Sharing is caring. (laughs) I really don't like that saying, but in this case, sharing is caring. And when you collaborate with others um, that also serve the same or similar audience as you, you get to be in front of their audience and they get to be in front of your audience. So like you're sharing your audience, which is really good. Um, And it also often helps establish trust faster because your collaborator's audience already trusts them and they will most likely trust you too because now you are a recommendation like a referral in a way plus connecting and working together is always a great way to grow your business and it's fun too (laughs) trust me oh I think it's fun anyway number eight create and share a lead magnet. I kind of dropped this a little bit before, but people often love knowing how others do things or what kind of tools and resources they are using in their business. They love little like mini lessons, guides, all those kind of things. So you can share a PDF, a short video, a private podcast. Um, You can create a whole mini course really. Um, So yeah, giving people something that will help them do something or learn something that kind of moves them closer to their business goal. We call that a lead magnet um, or a freebie, whatever you want to use it, you name you want to use. Um, but yeah, you basically give them something in return for joining your community. And you don't want that just to be something like really sort of wishy-washy that you create it real quick because yeah, people are not going to hang around after that. So make sure you impress them with this thing first up. Um, because if you give them something so awesome and valuable, people are going to want to hang around and are going to want to learn more from you. Bonus tip, I know I said eight, eight ways to attract more leads, but bonus tip, you can actually drive more traffic to a landing page that you've created for your lead magnet with Facebook ads. It is how most businesses with big launches get the number of leads they need to convert to reach their launch goals. Like it's a slow growth if you do it organically. It goes faster with Facebook ads. But remember, you need to get the right people. Like I said, this is the start. You need to get the right people on your list. But Facebook ads will help you attract more leads faster and grow your list faster. I'll actually be hosting a free masterclass soon on how you can sell more of your online course with meta ads, so Facebook and Instagram ads. Um, And I'll be sharing my four ad stack method to attract leads and to amplify your course sales. So if you're interested in that masterclass, head to the show notes for the link to sign up um, so that you can actually join my free masterclass. Awesome. Well, quick recap. Eight ways to attract more leads. One, sell something low cost. Two, host a giveaway or a competition. 
Number three, create a subscriber-only private podcast. Number four, use QR codes on all, on all your printed bits and pieces. <laughs> make, oh, sorry, number five, make your mailing list really a VIP area. Number six, add pop-ups to your website. Number seven, collaborate with someone in the same space or similar space, similar audience, not the same. You don't want to be doing the same. Collaborate. <laughs> um, number eight, create and share a lead magnet. And then your bonus tip, drive more traffic to your landing page for your lead magnet with Facebook ads or meta ads. So yeah, um, I'll be hosting a masterclass soon, a free masterclass, and I'm going to be sharing my four ad stack method to attract leads and amplify your course sales. So head on to the show notes for the link to sign up to the free class. That was it for this week. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. I hope it was helpful and I can't wait to share more marketing tips with you next week. If you're ready to take your business to the next level with Facebook and Instagram advertising, make sure that you visit newschoolofmarketing.com to download practical free resources. Plus, subscribe to the podcast and never miss an episode. I can't wait to go on this journey with you. Until next time, take care and market your business every day.